Hey there, what's going on YouTube? I'm Marco, I play Risk, and this is Marco Plays Risk. <laughs> I'm a master at uh, Progressive Risk, and today we are playing uh, Asia, I think I selected, I already forgot. We will see in a second. Um, but yeah, six players, five players and a bot. Yeah, we play Asia. Good. Um, and yeah, we're playing progressive, 60 second round timer, expert AI, ranked of course. And yeah, so no blizzards, no blizzards, no fog. So I have kind of a position in the north, I have nothing in the south. Black should take this territory, I think. There's too much going on here in Malaysia and Indonesia. Uh, oh, black is offline. So we got two bots right away. Or do we? Yeah, looks like a bot. Okay, and then we got four players and two bots. Purple in second position. Going for the islands. Ay ay ay. Lots of attacks. Okay, interesting. So the bot is trying to take What's it called? South, Southeast Asia. That makes sense. Mm. So, India is pretty big, um, but I don't think I can reasonably take it with a four and a three and another three and a two in there. That seems unlikely. China, same issue really. Maybe I can go for Japan. I think that's my um, best play. So red going for Tibet. Purple plays after me. Purple may want to play in India or in Mongolia. Mm hmm. So what I'm mostly afraid of is that purple will uh, just slam into me once I cleared this out. So I am not going to finish this now. Instead, I'm just gonna stack up and see what think does. Happened one too many times now that people who play after me just slam into me with all their troops and then take my um, my continent. Okay, but pink plays in India. So I should probably try and get out of there while I still can. Yellow going for Korea. Red wants an alliance, that's fine. Um, is black still? No, black is back back in the game. Hmm. So it's actually my second time playing this map, so I'm uh, still very unexperienced here. But I will see what I can do. So it's especially knowing uh, what the continents are and how strong they are. It's very good to know.
So maybe I can be good neighbors with yellow. For the time being. Black doing a take in India. Huh. Hmm. So as it stands, these troops will either die to black or pink. So I don't think it's worth investing any anything here. Maybe if they survive another turn. Which I think they may not, because Pink has a lot of troops there. We will see. I think I should be more concerned about getting these troops into um, Japan. So in this, Honshu is not connected other than to Kyushu. I think that's what it looks like. So... I will play it like this so I can now get these troops um send them mm, send them here i think the six is uh, good enough to block any potential aggression from yellow pink still on the india plan how oh, is he going to break through black. No. Okay. Building a big stack in India. Oh, um, this just looked like South Korea is also connected to the Ruikui Islands. <laughs> but maybe I just... Uh, maybe it just looked like it. Because I can't see any indication on the map for that. Okay, so... Yellow doesn't want an alliance with me. So I have to play around him crashing into me. Hmm. 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 I mean, I could put everything into my six and attack him before he can attack me. Which I usually don't do. Because I don't want to antagonize people too much. Uh, I could also break into Korea. I'm really not sure what yellow will do. Um, so I will put two here. Ah, uh, he can also attack there if he wants to. So I cannot really defend it very well. Hmm. I take this and stack these onto there. 
So I will roll the dice and see what yellow does. I have offered an alliance, so... Um, yeah, hopefully he understands that I don't want to start anything now. But some people just attack right away, not even waiting for a good time to do so. What the fuck was that? Yeah, okay, great. So good I stocked up on units, he just smashed everything into me. Luckily I got good rolls. So yeah, now I don't have any inclination to let him keep Korea. Um, I don't have a match, which is not too worrying at this point. So I will put a big stack in South Korea. Then yellow doesn't get his bonus. And probably another stack here or there. So this is Philippines and Formosa. Isn't this Taiwan? I guess it's an historic map. Okay, yellow didn't want to play nice. So there's no reason for me to let him keep that. Um, maybe I'll just move over here or... Mm. Hmm, I mean this attack would make sense because then I hold 12 territories and if I don't get attacked then uh, I get one extra unit but I don't think that will happen. Yeah, I think that was a mistake. But whatever. I think with a big 20 in South India, moving towards Southeast Asia, not really, so where are you going? Pink only really has this one big stack. Looking at the units. Wow, what an absolute moron. Getting good rolls this turn. Okay. Um, so, yellow is an absolute madman. It just attacks anything, whether it makes sense or not. As a result, he's down to 10 units. Sadly, there's one stack over here that I, I mean, I can reach. Hmm. But I've got nothing really big. Up here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm, yeah. So taking yellow won't be possible this turn. Hmm. 
So I get three units. And these are not really positioned. Yeah, so tagging this was really a mistake. Um, but I can at least break yellow's bonus again because any troops that he has will come my way, I'm pretty sure. So next turn, black gets four. Purple 6, red 8, and I get 10. And that should just be enough to um, take out yellow. Get 5 cards. And then we will see. Next. The next weakest player is purple. Um, oh, black is offline again. Don't know what's going on there. And I'm also kind of set up to purple. Hmm. It's gonna be a tough line though. Let's see what happens. Oh, very nice. Purple just giving me the kill on yellow. I like that. Okay, so I am set up for a very good turn, I think. By all the stuff that's happening right now. Red also not too strong. So purple or red will be the next ones to go. Somehow this position still survives, which is good for me, because that makes me much, much harder to kill. Okay. So, um, let's put Problem is that I have to uh, split in both directions. But yeah, that works actually. So I just put four here. Get five more cards from yellow. Um. Get another 12. Can I kill purple? I think I can. Oh, but this pathing is super awkward. Oh yeah, no, I'm locked in there. Um. Uh, uh, yeah, no, that's not working out as I intended. But I got uh, three bonuses on the board now. And a bunch of troops. So even if uh, pink now kills purple. Yeah, I fed purple to pink very hard, huh? Um, 
So that was a big mistake. Um, but I don't think I'm under any threat of dying now. Or maybe I am. Depends on what purple does. Um, can purple kill anything? Black would be the next weakest player. Damn, I really misjudged the situation on purple there. But okay. It doesn't seem like pink wants to do anything else. Which works for me. Because then I will get massive bonuses from all the continents I'm holding. Uh, plus 10 at this point. Black is still a bot. And I get another match. So I should be able to kill red this turn. Are these connected? I don't know. It's the worst case I have to take one here, so that would make this a six. Ah, red has a match. That's unfortunate. But maybe I can take black. It's got 28 units. Maybe red wants to break me somewhere. I mean, breaking this would make a lot of sense. Doesn't do it. Um, so... Yeah, I think I can just straight up kill black. Um, now I think I can kill red. Yep. Okay, now it's just. Oh, red didn't have any cards. Whoopsie doopsie. Um, anyway, now it's just about reducing pink's territory as much as possible. Put this here. Just want to make sure my biggest stack is always connected to uh, my opponent's position when there's only two players left. Okay, runs into my stack. So I have another match and I hold more cards than my opponent, so... Even though he has more units right now, that doesn't matter. Breaking all the bonuses, or as much as he can. which makes sense, but it won't change the outcome of this game. So I think I will start here and move like this through India, take all of that, yeah. Kind of tracing back his um, path. The worst thing you can do in this situation is just run your stuff into 
uh, his stack. Okay, let's see if these are connected. Yeah, they are. Okay, so I could have moved through there. Because then you lose the ability to um, take all the territory. Uh, now I will run into this and I also run into that. Okay, lose everything. Um, not a problem though. So I got three cards, he got one. And I got another match, so yeah. That will be the game next turn. Hmm. Okay, so a little bit of a mistake at the beginning. But it turned out okay. So we now just have to watch him break my territories again. And then we are done here. Hey. Yeah, he gets everything. Doesn't matter though. 60 seconds can be very long when you're just waiting. Okay, uh, so I, I will go the other way around. Okay, so that is today's video. Give him a good game. Hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment and a like and stuff and have a great day.